सो वॉट इज़ अ पीपल वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट आर्गो सी डी वी विल सी वॉट इज़ आर्गो सी डी एंड वॉट आर गिट ऑप्स कंसेप्ट विच आर्गो सी डी फॉलोज एंड हाउ यू कैन इंस्टॉल आर्गो सी डी ऑन योर क्यूबर नेट इज क्लस्टर एंड हाउ यू कैन डिप्लॉय योर एप्लीकेशन टू क्यूबर नेट इज यूजिंग आर्गो सी डी सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स सी वॉट इज आर्गो सी डी सो आर्गो सी डी इज जस्ट अ कंटिन्यूस डिलीवरी टूल सो दिस कंटिन्यूस डिलीवरी टूल वर्क ऑन गिट ऑप्स प्रिंसिपल्स हेयर वाई यू नीड आर्गो सी डी बिकॉज इफ यू हैव एनी अदर ऑप्शन इन द मार्केट अवेलेबल फॉर सी आई सी डी टूल्स लाइक यू हैव जेन किन्स राइट यू हैव जेन किन्स यू हैव गिट अप एक्शंस एंड यू हैव गिट अप गिट लैप सी आई सी डी राइट एंड अ लॉट मोर ऑप्शन यू हैव ऑलरेडी राइट सो आर्गो सी डी डज नॉट इंक्लूड कंटिन्यूस इंटीग्रेशन इट इज़ जस्ट अ कंटिन्यूस डिलीवरी और डिप्लॉयमेंट टूल एंड दिस वर्क ओनली फॉर द क्यूबरनेटिस डिप्लॉयमेंट्स सो वाई यू नीड टू यूज आर्गो सी डी फॉर योर क्यूबरनेटिस डिप्लॉयमेंट बट लाइक यू कैन यूज जेनकिन डायरेक्टली राइट सो लेट सी वॉट इज द सीनैरियो इन जेनकिन और सम अदर सी आई सी डी डिप्लॉयमेंट वैन यू do your continuous integration and continuous deployment using some other cicd tools you create a cicd pipeline in let's say this is your github repository where your code is there right this is your github and then you trigger a cicd pipeline let's say some user pushed some new code changes into this github repository and you trigger on on push event you triggered a cicd pipeline right so in that cicd pipeline you have two major jobs like one is for continuous integration and one is for cd continuous deployment right so first for ci let's say your application is a react based application so first you will install your dependencies using npm ci then you will build your application like npm run build and or then you build your docker file as well sorry you build your docker image from a docker file right so you run docker build and then you push your docker image to some docker registry or something let's say you are pushing your image to docker hub right docker hub and after this steps done you start your continuous deployment and in your continuous deployment let's say you are you want to deploy to a kubernetes cluster right this is a kubernetes cluster for deploying your application changes to this kubernetes cluster you need to connect or authenticate to this cluster let's say it is in gke so then you need the cluster credentials or you need to authenticate via g cloud right so here you are authenticating right after that once you make connection between your cluster and your instance where your ci cd jobs are running right so after this you basically run or apply your kubernetes config files so let's say inside this github repo you have your kubernetes files let's say inside a, another folder kubernetes or you have some other repository as well for storing your config files so you use them to and you use kubectl or something for applying your kubernetes configurations right and inside your kube apply what you use you use a new docker image which you pushed yet right so so what is the major difference here you need to first connect to your kubernetes cluster right so this is basically works on a push deployment model right so this called a push deployment so what is the difference between pull and push so how you will work with pull deployment so argo cd works on git ops principles where it it says you only need the ci steps right so once you have done your ci steps you do not need to include your cd steps in your pipeline in your kubernetes cluster here kubernetes cluster you just install an agent that is on your kubernetes cluster and that is argo cd right that is argo cd and argo cd you map this argo cd to your github repo this is your github repo and inside your github repo you have a specific directory for your kubernetes config files and you map this to this agent right 
so this agent basically pulls these files from your github repo right and this pulls and this check the state so th in these configuration files you have your desired state that you want and this is the actual state of your kubernetes cluster that you have current configuration so it every time or some in certain time of period it pulls these config files and it checks the difference between desired state and actual state so if your desired state is equal to your actual state then it will not do anything right but if there is any difference so it will make every change that 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 is required to make the changes that is required to match your desired state and the actual state so it will always check your desired state inside your configuration files and then it will always check the actual state of your kubernetes cluster and it, it makes the changes on your kubernetes cluster so what kind of changes let's say first you are uh, in your kubernetes config files you are running a deployment you have a deployment where a container image is nginx version 1 right so let's suppose you have version 1 and then you have deployed it on your kubernetes cluster so now on your kubernetes cluster is nginx 1 image is deployed right now let's say you have changed this to 2 inside your github repo config file so it will check once it will pull this image this github repo and it will check okay the docker image there is a difference between the docker image because here docker image is deployed of version 1 and here it is they want the docker image of version 2 so it will deploy again the same config file again to the required change to match the desired state and the actual state right so this works like a pull deployment here you do not need to configure any of your kubernetes credentials to your ci cd pipeline you only need a ci steps and then you will make changes to your kubernetes config files inside a github repo and argo cd will automatically fetch everything from your github repo and it will check your desired state and it will make the all the changes on the kubernetes cluster automatically so now let's see how you can work with argo cd quickly so here if you see i have a instance google compute instance and here i have minikube running already so let's check the minikube status on this instance you can see minikube is running and now let's install argo cd on this cluster so if you go to argo cd documentation so here they are saying like first create a namespace for argo cd so let's create a namespace first so just run kubectl create namespace argo cd so your namespace is created after that you need to apply a yaml file that is hosted on github repo of argo cd organization and now this is applying this yaml files you can also check this yaml file if you want by just uh, adding it into the browser so yeah, you can check this is completely a big file so you do not do not need to inspect this you just go and copy and paste this inside your terminal right so now this file is applied now if you run kubectl get pods so you will see a lot of pods just add the namespace argo cd you can see some pods are running and some are initializing right so now if you check services svc and argo cd so you can see there are some services that are deployed using argo cd so there is a service argo cd server so this is the service we need to access to use our argo cd right so just copy this server name service name and here how we can access it we just need to run kubectl port forward and here also you can see they are saying you can use kubectl port forward for accessing your argo cd server right so here you can see it is exposed this service is exposed on port 443 and just run here kubectl port forward svc argo cd server namespace argo cd now add ports here let's say 8080 443 and specify address also here 0.0.0 now just add and here so that it will run in the background right 
now what you need to do you just go to your vm instance and here on this instance you just need to copy the external ip address and paste it in the browser so your argo cd will be there right so just copy this at port 8080 so it is saying your connection is not private so just proceed to unsafe here now how to login you just add username as admin and how to check your password what will be your initial password so here you can see in this blog i have this secret so this argo cd creates a secret and you can just get it so just run here kubectl get secret and add the name space argo cd and also add the secret name and output this as yaml file okay so okay kubectl get secret why i have added b here okay here should be n for the namespace output to yaml now you can see this is the password but it is not in base 64 format so we just need to decode it so just run this command base 64 d so now you have this password and this password you just copy from here and paste in your argo cd so now you can see this is your argo cd ui and how you can start your deployments you just click on here on new application add the application name something let's say default and for project name select default sync policy just select automatic self field and prone now rep add, add your repository url wherever you have your kubernetes config files so i have here inside this repo on kubernetes path so i will paste this here path you will add kubernetes and cluster url just select the default server default cluster url here because our argo cd is deployed on the same server where we want to deploy our applications right and the name is space we can say my application or something now just click on create so your application is created now if you just click on this so you can see what we have configuration inside our github repo one is deployment and one is service load balancer service so this is now creating these two things right so you can see so now it is syncing all your deployments or all your configuration that you have inside this kubernetes folder so now let's say if i add a new file here let's say pod.yaml and in this pod.yaml i'm adding a new kubernetes config file and i'm committing my changes so create pod.yaml and after commit if i go to my application in argo cd so you can see here this will sync again right so just wait it checks the it pulls the github repository every three minutes so now you can see my pod is here which i have added just now so now it will try to deploy this as, as well right So it is saying a health is missing for some reasons but main thing is it is pulling all your configurations from your github repository and it is syncing all the things here inside your kubernetes cluster and in this ui you can check everything here right and also you will see like the, the commit id as well on which commit it is doing the deployment and difference as well here right So this is how Argo CD works and this is a quick this was a quick tutorial on Argo CD but in the next video I will show you a complete Argo CD tutorial we will explain some more things about this and we will use it on a GK cluster not on a minikube cluster so we will be deploying an application as well.
so thanks for tuning into my channel i hope you found the content valuable don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest videos thanks again and i will see you in the next video